Welcome to video one, Scholarly Writing in the Health Sciences. As a student in the health sciences, you will need to be able to identify the main forms of article types in conducting research for your papers and for interpreting what you find. Scholarly writing takes a variety of forms. In this video, we will explore the purpose of each article type to help you gain an understanding of its use and how best to implement it in your writing. Some types of articles will be used for evidence to support your recommendations, while others may help inform your viewpoint. When you are using a database, you will be pulling across all of these article types. Understanding the difference between the articles will make for more efficient searches. Empirical studies report on original research. Empirical means that something is verifiable by observation or experience rather than theory or logic alone. The studies describe foundational science issues and are important because observation and reporting are the cornerstones of research. They can be qualitative or quantitative in nature. In thinking about empirical studies, Consider these the descriptive versions in your research portfolio. They are the gold standards of original research. This is an example of an empirical study. The abstract provides a quick way to determine if this could be empirical work. Skimming the abstract for clues is a good first step. As noted in the overview, this is clearly original research the abstract discusses the study process. For confirmation, check the article format and methods sections. If the headings do not mirror the basic research format, i.e. introduction, method, result, and conclusion, this can be an indication the article may be something other than empirical research. Another check is reviewing the method section. Skimming the research process listed under the methods sections also provides a way to see if the article is indeed a report of original research. Review articles in academic health science journals fall into two categories, a narrative review article and a systematic review article, Lang, 2010, page 16. The narrative style is usually compiled by an expert in his or her area often called a literature review, while a systematic review represents a more structured and scientific analysis, often called a meta-analysis. The key differences between the two include expertise level and replicability. Literature reviews and meta-analyses are helpful in understanding what literature already exists and in exploring how research questions have been reviewed. If you are tasked with developing a research proposal, these articles will help target your literature exploration. The article is explicitly labeled as a meta-analysis, making identification simple. However, reviewing the abstract provides additional clarification of the article type in case the document does not note style within the title. Unlike empirical studies, which have a clear format, Literature reviews and meta-analyses do not follow a standard format in publications. If an article is not explicitly labeled as a literature review or meta-analysis, check the methods section to help determine what was done. From here, you should be able to see that the article is not a report of original research and instead combines many sources for a research synthesis or description for literature review. Theoretical articles often explain larger observational patterns and have a predictive feature. For example, a series of empirical studies may be used to come up with a new theory about best practices for pediatric medicine. The theoretical article would feature the evidence and assertions for making a larger theoretical statement. Theoretical articles can help undergird your arguments or may be part of seminal works which explain why patient care is a particular way. Think about theoretical articles as explanatory pieces, 
exploring larger concepts in the health sciences. This is an example of a theoretical article. The intention is clearly a new theory. It proposes a new model based on previous research. Since this is not arguing for a new or modified approach to research, we can eliminate methodology from consideration. In reviewing the author's intent or purpose, the theoretical nature of the subject matter is easily identified. According to Lang, 2010, methodological articles report technical advances in research methods and tools, new surgical approaches, new statistical methods, and so on. Science is advanced in part by new technologies whose development, evaluation, and applications are reported in methodological articles, page 16. Methodological articles could be considered the tools in research which offer new approaches or measurements for research and procedures. This is an example of a methodological article. The authors propose a new method for analyzing cases of vaccine adverse events. The word method in the title provides a cue to the type of article, but reading the abstract will also alert you to the article type as well. Case studies exemplify a deep dive into a particular problem area for a distinct group. The purpose of the article may be to demonstrate a viable solution or a need for a solution. This is an example of a case study. There is a balance between necessary detail and concerns for confidentiality, APA 2009. The article begins with the patient's story. Other options could be a narrative or description of patient symptoms, in other words, what a patient presents with. How would you find empirical studies, literature reviews, theoretical and methodological articles, and case studies to use in your research? We recommend using the research databases provided through the university's libraries. They are pre-scanned, some only include peer-reviewed articles, and most provide limits. So, for example, you could search only for systematic reviews on a topic. PubMed contains over 23 million literature citations for clinical, basic sciences, and public health articles. It is a free resource provided by the U.S. National Library of Medicine and links to many full-text articles, so it will be helpful to use professionally after you graduate. It is the premier database for clinical research. CINAHL provides extensive coverage of literature in the fields of nursing and allied health. This includes occupational health and safety, medical imaging, complementary and alternative medicine, gerontology, nutrition, bioethics, medical administration and management, the pharmaceutical industry, bioinformatics, disability studies, health policy, physical therapy, and occupational therapy. Scopus is a large interdisciplinary database which also shows which articles have cited an article which helps you focus your search and find important highly cited articles. There are many other focused databases and your choice will depend on your research topic and needs. We encourage you to explore the options available through the GW libraries. For traditional peer-reviewed academic journals, which we just discussed, the process of research, peer review, and publication takes time. There can be a significant delay before information is published. For this reason, new and emerging issues may have a limited presence in journals. In this case, informal publications can help supplement existing academic research, but be careful. Controlled circulation media are the health sciences equivalent of a tabloid or entertainment and not appropriate for research at the graduate level. Informal articles are not a substitute for academic references. If you think informal sources may be appropriate for an assignment, your best bet is to check with your professor in advance. This is an interpretation of an empirical study designed for a public audience. 
If the information is relevant, health sciences graduate students and professionals should go back and find the original report of research. In this case, the study was published in the Journal of Cancer Epidemiology, Biomarkers, and Prevention. While the previous journal types are more traditional in terms of academic sourcing, as more information is, is available electronically, students may find more current information available via electronic media. In using informal publications, it is important to check the credibility of the source and the author before using it in your academic work. Again, authentication is an important part of becoming a health sciences practitioner and scholar. The process of searching for credible academic sources will be critical to your success in your academic program and in your role as a practitioner. Being well versed in reviewing trusted academic sources or discerning valuable online information from an informal source will help when new cases or symptoms present in a patient or when an unfamiliar process or drug is being considered with your population. Developing these skills now will help ensure that you will be ready in your classes and beyond. Determining credibility in research will be covered in depth in video 2.